What's going on guys? So we are back with another one. We got another vlog video to shoot for you guys. We got an OBS F-150. We're gonna be doing a flip kit and in notch or frame. All right, so I got the frame pretty much up on jack stands. I got the U-bolts off. I'm about to remove. He, he put some two inch uh, drop shackles. I'm probably gonna drop it down to the one inch, but I don't think that's gonna be enough. He might have to go back with the stocks. But I'm gonna go ahead and remove the leaf springs and uh, try to flip the kit and then see where I'm at. And if he has to give me the stock um, shackles, the drop shackles, and I mean, if he has to give me the stock shackles, then I have to either call him so he can get them or I'll go get them myself. And then uh, I'll probably end up doing the C notch also. Let's keep going. I got the other side done, then I'll put the wheels back on there and we'll see if he's gonna need those uh those OE uh, shackles. And then after that I'm gonna cut the frame, weld in the end frame notch and I'll be done until then. But let's keep going. Get the C notch cut out. The C notch cut out. I made a little template. So I'm gonna pretty much hold up there and uh, mark, make my markings and cut it out. So the C notch pretty much a little bit offset towards the back, if you can see. So the center line is pretty much offset. It's pretty much where this rubber stops at. If you can, I mean, the camera really doesn't help a lot. It kind of makes the axle look further back, but I mean that's where it's at. And if you could tell, it's pretty much a little bit further back from this recess piece. So that's pretty much it. This, this is the c notch that goes on this side. So they're, they are uh, from left and right. They're, they just weren't marked. But I'm gonna grind the edges down and weld this in, just cause I don't like bolting it up. I don't like the bolt-ins. But I'm gonna start marking it up and cutting it out. Right, guys my bad the phone died yesterday so i wasn't able to get any footage of the install or the full footage of the install but pretty much finished it finished it last night um we got the flip kit in notched the frame i put some pics up in the in the vlog of the stuff that i did but we put the original drop the original shackles in there um it's pretty much it
Hi guys, I'm giving you that two for one. We got another C notch going in on uh, my boy Manny's at solo underscore 18. He got uh, the reckless underbed notch. So right now, we're pretty much taking off the wheels because he, uh, he traded somebody for those wheels. He's gonna go get some low pro tires mounted on them, bring them back so we can paint them all black. Um, in the meantime, we're taking off the running boards. It's gonna be too low for the running boards. We're taking off, we're gonna have to pop off the bed, do the C-notch, take off the spare wheel and the, the tow hitch. But uh, yeah, I'm giving you that, that two for one in this vlog. We did two C-notches. The other one, the phone died on me, so I wasn't able to get everything on there. But we're gonna, we're gonna try to get everything on this one. So man, y'all just keep watching. All right, guys, we got the seam notches pretty much in place. All we got left to weld them up, cut that axis out, and then plate it up and weld it, and then spray it black. Slowly, but we getting it done. Guy got some reckless kit, underbed notch. We start welding some. Got the notches welded in. Gonna coat them black. We're putting the drop, the drop uh, hangers for the struts. And then we just gotta put the shackles in. Put it. Uh, we don't even got the wheels for it, but then it'd be pretty much done. And then we gotta move to the bed and then paint the wheels. Reckless. <laughs> 